In today's video, I'm going to show you guys gameplay of the brand new boss inside of Fort Nightmares. There's two brand new bosses, so let's jump in, show the location of them, how to defeat them, how to get them, how to spawn them, and all their mythic items. Alright, let's jump in. So first off, we're going to jump straight into the reality tree and check out the boss over there. If you guys are new around here, roughly 98% of you guys watching right now aren't already subscribed. Let's jump in and see what this boss is like over at the reality tree. So here we are over at the DJ spot and you can see we do have a DJ wolf skin over here, DJing to all of these zombies right here. Now what's really cool about this is you don't actually have to fight this boss. You have to actually do an emote competition type thing with them. So you go over to here where this wolf's kind of like telling you to go and then you perform your ritual which is like an emote which they want you to do like a weird dance and you do this weird dance and then the wolf just rewards you with a really awesome mythic item and you just get it as simple as that you can get this mythic now what's really cool about this mythic is it has a few separate new abilities you can farm materials with it which is kind of neat as well you can get quite a decent amount of materials off it you can also dash with it by double pressing a and you can spam this for quite a decent amount of time and there's like a secret kind of barrier there as well with the different lighting you can actually spam this for quite a while but what it uses it uses your sprint mechanic at the bottom left so you got to be careful on how you're using it obviously there's a few other abilities with this as well which i'll demonstrate now for you guys you can obviously use the normal slash which is pretty cool you can press that a few times it has a few different combos we'll try it against this wolf here so you can get a little overview of it right now it's kind of neat it doesn't do too much damage but it can be quite useful and other than that it has this lt ability which is the activate wolf scent which will locate anybody nearby and you can see at the bottom right there's a little cool down on this as it is beginning to cool down slowly now right now we're heading over to the other boss over at the grim get now right now we're going to head over to the other boss over at the grim gables location which we're going to have to go through the north portal which will take us to the location of this and luckily enough yes these do spawn in battle labs which is really nice to know finally i don't think the herald spawns in battle labs yet i haven't actually checked so if someone wants to let me know in the comment section down below because we're going to jump straight in and take out this boss and show you guys how to spawn it and defeat it because it's a little bit complicated i didn't expect it to be this advanced but it is so the location of the boss is obviously at the grim gables POI which is here in the center location of the map just in the north section above Loot Lake and you'll find this as the location of the new kind of boss situation. Now what's really cool about this is this boss isn't just a standard boss. It doesn't just spawn. You have to physically spawn it. You can see if I do this they don't spawn. Now watch out guys when you're inside of here you will get zombie jump scares in this building and they do do quite a bit of damage to you. So you're fighting these here they're doing quite a lot of damage to you them out as best you can and they will spawn all around here so keep an eye out for them guys as you are looking for them now obviously you gotta watch out for them this here looks like possibly could be one of them oh no didn't jump out on me that time but you could get them at any time so keep your eyes peeled and be aware of them now let's take on the boss and show you guys how to find it so it isn't actually in the grim gables house it's actually in the bottom section where shifty shafts is and you want to come through this section over here where the mine is come down through here and you'll actually find a kind of empty room here now weirdly enough the boss isn't here straight away and you have to actually spawn them in and to do that you stand on these fire bit like in, in the middle of this fire here and it lights up just like this and suddenly wait for it guys it's gonna spawn in where is he at okay come on come on there he is he spawns in so he just spawns in and you've got to take him out you do so much damage though in this situation these swords aren't going to be very good to take him out so you're going to use a gun take him out but he does have rocket launchers which is the pumpkin launcher and fireflies which can be a huge pain so taking this guy on, out on your own is going to be quite a difficult task luckily we've got bills which we can use here against him as long as he doesn't fire flyers we should be set to go and be able to take him out quite nicely throwing fireflies again which are an absolute nightmare to deal with especially with wooden builds so that's okay we'll get a nice little spot in here so let's hit him if we can he hit us nicely with the pumpkin launcher might have had a few attempts this one guys doing quite well against us here so we're going to heal up a little bit he's got a bunch of health this is a brand new boss i'm really excited to see how this boss performs the fire is definitely going to be super handy for him and he has an ar as well this is super deadly this is one of the most deadly bosses i've seen ever wow this boss is super powerful hit him with the this is, hit him with the harpoon a little bit if we can missing a few shots and the fireflies takes us out for the first time now wow this boss is super difficult we've got to eliminate him though and find out what his mythic item is so we're going to go back in and land at this location and see what we can do to him so it looks like as I've respawned in, the actual boss has come up to the top. And this is going to give me the option just to 
easily take them out. They're quite weak once you get them down to this situation. And with them coming up top, that gives us a huge advantage here. We can really easily take advantage of this because they don't have the cover of the cave, which I would advise letting them walk out to here. And if you eliminate them, oh no, we got a zombie chicken as well. How much damage do these do to you? They do two damage, I think. Yeah, two damage, two damage. Zombie chicken, no way, that just come in right there. That's so awesome. All right, let's take out the chicken and check out the mythic items. So what items do we got? We've got another zombie here. Let's take him out quickly. Keep going him in our way. There we are, hitting with the nice new claws. Owl of claws. And let's see what items we have here. So we've got the pumpkin launcher in a purple variant. And we also have the brand new Inquisitor's Suppressed S Ink. Inquisitors suppressed SMG. We'll check out what this is like. This brand new mythic item, which looks super awesome. 24 damage, 7.8 fire rate. Wow, let's check this thing out, see if it's got any recoil. See what it's like. See if we can find some zombies that will spawn in here. There should be some. If we run through this house, we should get a few. Oh, there we go. That's some. All right, where is he? Where is he? He's got to be around here somewhere. I heard him. Where you at, zombie? Oh, he's above us, he's above us. All right, let's check out this SMG on this zombie. Here we go, how much damage is going to do? 42 to the body, that's pretty awesome. Much to the head. Uh, I don't think he's really showing these guys, but sadly, I don't think he'll have to do that amount. But let's just check out the recoil. It's got a little bit, nothing too bad. It's going to be an awesome weapon if you can get it. So I always get asked the question how to defeat the boss as quickly as possible. So I'm going to show you guys a little tutorial on how to do that. So you guys can get a little idea on how you can actually land here on solo. And just defeat the boss very easily. So first off, you want to farm up some mats if you're on non, like, zero. If you're on, obviously, not zero builds. You can't farm maps if you're, mats if you're on zero build. And you want to get either the stone up here or possibly the metal from one of these kind of, I guess, drills. The government drills. So you can break them and get access to that. And then, obviously, you want to head down. Down here where the location of the boss is now you don't want to fight the boss down here watch out for any zombies that you get on the way make sure you take them out because they're going to annoy you throughout and as you go slowly down to the boss what you actually want to do is summon the boss and just make it straight out of here and have the boss follow you out because you don't want to fight the boss in here it's just too small it's too compact for the fireflies it's too compact for the rocket launcher and it's just a little bit of a nightmare to attack the boss in here so the boss spawns over there you want to run through here and the boss should follow you out slowly if you just keep moving over here they should come out so you can see obviously they're following you out and once you get them out in the rope in the open you're kind of free to beat them and if you move over a little bit you can get them on a nice little uh once they come out wait for the fire to start obviously they're not going to come out yet with the fire as they slowly begin to come out you can see they're slowly coming slowly it's taking a little bit of time sometimes to take a little bit of time so wait for this to break i'm going to break this so i can get them out quicker all right come on boss here he comes here he comes having so he tracks you there he is he's tracking me he's coming out look he's coming out slowly here he comes, here he comes, right, he's outside, take out the chicken. Then all you gotta do is just build here, and you should have a good chance against him. You just build up a little bit, and now you got a little bit of a chance, because what you've got is the ability that his fireflies aren't gonna work against these structures. And you can just hit him with the shotgun, watch out for his rocket launch, obviously, and build up again. Now, if you don't really wanna avoid, like, if you're on zero builds, you can come up on this hill and just shoot him from up here, I guess. And the rocket's not really going to hit you. So he's just going to keep hitting the hill. So this is the easiest way of taking out the boss, guys. You can just repeat this for yourselves in solo or in squads. It'd be so much easier in squads or duos. But obviously in solo, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to eliminate bosses. And here's just a demonstration of that on me on the hill. He's not going to be able to hit you with that pumpkin launcher. If you keep moving and you're on the hill up here, he's just not going to be able to hit you. You can either build or go on the hill. It's pretty awesome. Like It's a really good strategy to eliminate him. It's kind of exploiting the boss a little bit, but kind of easy to see just like that we've taken them out in one life so there you have it there's your tutorial hope you guys have enjoyed leave a like comment, and subscribe i'll see you guys soon this is by post signing out